hey what is going on youtube welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna show you all the set spawn locations for the cultist dagger inside fallout 76. now keep in mind this guide is only covering set spawn locations where i have found the cultist dagger multiple times rather than just a few times and if you go to these locations you should pretty much guaranteed get a cultist dagger however it may require a little bit of server hopping from time to time if the item's not there so with that said let's go ahead and get straight into this video all right guys so the first place you can go to get a cultist dagger is way down here at hornwright testing site 2 inside the ash heap and for those of you who need volt 76 well that's way up there for reference now once you guys get here to hornwright testing site 2 it will look a little something like this minus this big yellow thing and once you find this area just kind of come out the back here see these cargo containers and just follow the path I take. And once you guys uh, get over here, it will look a little something like this and you'll see a kind of a, you know, the cult cross or whatever you want to call it. And right here on a rock in one of the skeleton's hands, you will find your cultist dagger. And all you have to do is pick that up. This cultist dagger is level 35, by the way. All right, guys. So the next place you can go on your map to get a cultist dagger is Rayleigh Clay's Bunker, located right here on your map next to Dire Chemical. And for those of you who need 76 for reference, it's way over there. Now, once you guys uh, are at Rayleigh Clay's Bunker, it will look a little something like this. And you're just going to want to follow the path I take. Now you will eventually see this kind of broken church and you're just going to want to head on inside there. Jumping up here and just walk all the way down the stairs into this little cave. Make yourself a left, drop down, turn around and go through this little hole in the wall. And right here on the counter, our stone pillar or whatever, it will be your next cultist dagger. So let's move on to the next one. All right, guys. So the last location I know of you can actually get a cultist dagger is here at the Lucky Hole Mine. For those of you who don't know where this is, right next to Fort Defiance in the Cranberry Bogish area and Vault 76 way up here for reference. Now, once you guys get down here to Lucky Hole Mine, it will look a little something like this, and you're just going to want to follow the path I take. Now, I'm, I was going to speed up some footage here, however, the mine is pretty dark, um, so I want, want to kind of walk you there as best as I possibly can, but I will speed up footage for the first part until we kind of get to areas where it's hard to follow. So, once you get into the mine, just head straight down like this and just kind of follow the path I take. Make yourself your first right that you can when it looks like this. Make yourself a left when it looks like this. Once you see this statue or whatever it is, make yourself a left and keep on going down. Once you see this altar and this desk, make yourself a right and just go straight down. Once you see this altar, the only way you could go is left, head on in here. You'll know you're in the right place when you see like this little lake with all those candles. Head on in here through this nasty, disgusting, dirty water. Into this main ceremony room. Once you're in the main ceremony room, there will be a small little hole. Go ahead and uh, head on through that. Keep on going. And when you reach the first candle on your right, there will be a plant here blocking kind of a secret entrance. Simply head on in here and just go all the way down. And then once you're in here, it'll look a little like this. And right here, sitting on uh, this uh, mantle will be your cultist dagger. And all you have to do is pick that up. And those are all the cultist dagger spawns that I know of inside Fallout 76. I do apologize if I didn't miss any. I am a one-man army, 
and I have found all these myself and it took a very long time. So if you guys could, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as it would really help the channel grow. Anyways, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next episode or video. But until then, remember to stay freaky and bye-bye everybody. Thank you for watching. See you next time.